May I request Professor uh, Puranik and Professor Sharma to come over here together? So I'll quickly finish off these sweet formalities. Let me welcome our guests for valedictory function. And <laughs> thank you. And, and let me also welcome our hosts for the valedictory function. <laughs> thank you. Ah, the god of thermodynamics cannot be sitting back. Come, 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 Professor Gayatunde. Now I understand why there is an extra chair here. <laughs> no, no, you can run after taking the bouquet and showing your face to everybody. Some of you would recognize Professor Gayatunde who taught the first course. I'm very, very happy to welcome you. Thank you. Please. <laughs> so, I'll be very brief. I had actually planned to give a long talk. I have prepared that talk in the car journeys to ECGC steering committee meeting and back. But I was told that some people have to leave early. And in any case, the speaking on the spoken tutorial took most of the time. So uh, what I have decided instead is I have, I have sent a two-page summary of my talk to uh, my secretary. And we should be receiving the printouts. So please carry these printouts. And if you feel like, you can go through them. What I'll do is I will give this talk in the 10 year program, 10 uh, day program in, in the month of June. So, without further ado, let me start uh, first the distribution of certificates. Professor Uma Mahesh Nanduri, NIT Warangal. Professor Nanduri has to leave. There is some, something waiting for him. Thank you very Thank much, you. Professor Nanduri. Right. Professor Satish Shenoy, Manipal. Thank you so much. I think you won't be captured. Because either we should stand somewhere else or uh, here. Yeah. Thank you. Professor Uday Singh Babkar, Kolapur Institute of Technology. Come here. Thank you very much. Dr. Brahmara Panitapu from JNTUH College, Hyderabad. There are two people from Hyderabad then. Yeah. Professor Shilpa Monkar, MSCS Pillai. Thank you very much, Shilpa. Come here so that they can capture you on the video as well. Professor Sujata, Vellore. Thank you so much for coming. Professor Pradeep Hegde from Amrita School of Engineering, Bangalore. Oh, you come from Bangalore. Thank you so much. Professor Pugajan, you pronounce it as Pugajan, yes, yes. Very Armenian. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Right. Professor Pravin Survade from KK Ward. Thank you. Dr. Malayalam Murthy from Salem. Ah. So, how is Salem doing well? I have to come there one of these days. Yes. Professor Atul Lanjeva from MNIT Bhopal. Come a long way. Get somebody from Gwalior to join the effort, I say. They are still missing. Professor Kedar San from Vishwakarma Institute. Thank you, Kedar. Thank you for coming. Professor Parag Chaure from Cummings College. Professor Fani Krishna. From Vijayawada. Oh. Thank you for coming. Professor Santil Kumar from Sona College. Sona has been working with us for quite some time. Pranavesh Ganai from JS Institute. Thank you, Pranavesh. Professor Jay Kumar from Amrita School, Koyam. I just met Venkat and Kamal. They were here. Mm -hmm. Professor Rajesh Verma from Truba College of Engineering. 
you read it. Truba has a larger capacity and many colleges around. Get 100 participants next time. <laughs> Professor Arvind Deshpande from Vijay Same thing about your, your hall can accommodate 300 people. <laughs> and there are many colleges in Mumbai. Professor Ashok Chitranjan from Amal Jyoti. Kanjirapal. Thank you so much for coming. Professor Vinayak Gayakwad from DKTS. Thank you so much. Glad to meet you today. Yes. Yes, yes, I have come there. Yes, <coughs> Professor Praveen Sarode, RC Patel, Sherpur. So you are still able to get a good number of teachers in Sherpur? Professor Abhay Wable from Vishwabharati Academy College of Engineering, Ahmednagar. This is a new institution. Good. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Professor Amul Pitale from JS Raisoni. So Raisoni and the VRC, both are our centers. <coughs> Good. Professor Suhaj Jakta from Shivaji University. Thank you, Suhaj. Thank you. Professor Mohammed Abdul Samad from Mufakamja College. Thank you for coming. Professor Karthik Kothari from RK College of Engineering, Rajkot. Rajkot is another new center. So welcome to the gang. Thank you, sir. Thank <laughs> you very much. Do you have enough engineering colleges in that yeah, region? Yeah. Itself in Rajkot, we are having 11 engineering colleges. Get all the faculty members of all yeah. the departments. Sure. Here. And get some computer science faculty, let them learn something about basic engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Jensen Sebastian, St. Joseph College, Palai. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Professor Umesh Ausarmal from KC College at Jargao. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Professor Praveen Somanshi. Vidya Pratishtan Baramati. Thank you so much. <laughs> Professor Jairaman from Shastra University, Tanjavur. You have a lot of centers in that vicinity. So you have to go deep down south and get faculty members from Tirnal Valley and such places as well. Right. Okay. Professor Ashwin Kumar Doble from VNIT Nagpur. VNIT is here. Professor Santil Raja from Erod, Institute of Road and Transport Technology. Thank you, Santil, for coming here. Right. Professor D. N. Naresh from Jaipur Engineering College, Kokas, Jaipur. Jaipur has been our partner for a long time. Good. All the best. Thank you. Professor Chandrasekhar Sevatkar from COEP. COEP is one of the most well-known institutions yeah. in the country. I hope you justice, uh, do justice Definitely. to that name. Definitely. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Sudhakar Subuddhi from NIT Calicut. Okay. I'm supposed to come there. I'll come one of these days, maybe during that course. <laughs> Professor Santil Kumar from Vellore Institute of Technology, Vellore. Coming. Vellore has been our partner for a long time. Professor Karthik S. from Amrita Coimtur. Coimtur is where Venkat normally resides, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I just met him. He's, he was here. He's just going to the. That's how I was delayed. <laughs> Dr. Mishra from Jabalpur Engineering College. Oh. Ah. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Professor Ravindra Edlabadkar from PVG COIT Pune. Professor Gaurang Shah from KJ Somaya. Thank you, Professor Shah. Professor Nilesh Sabnes from, oh, this is the new institute. So did you enjoy the course? Yeah, yeah. So let's see how you conduct the workshop then. All the best. Thank you so much. Professor Madhav Bhamre, 
बॉम्बे रे फ्रॉम सन गजान महाराज का ओशे गांव और ये इन द सेम ऑल द बेस्ट आई हैव बीन कमिंग देयर फॉर एज सम डे आई कम प्रोफेसर नीरज शाह फ्रॉम निरमा यूनिवर्सिटी निरमा अगेन हैज बीन आवर पार्टनर राइट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ईयर थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द बेस्ट आई हैड ऑलरेडी मेंशन दैट दिस वर्कशॉप इज प्लांड इन जून and we propose to conduct a two day workshop on uh, scilab on the weekend just before this main workshop so i would request you also to become coordinators for that workshop because somebody who is both knowledgeable and who is going to use that subsequently is the best person uh, the second thing as i promise you i'll share some of the thoughts for the future ongoing future as i mentioned mhrd has asked us to continue this model albeit with some changes in funding and we will be proposing additional centers today there are about 78 centers out of which 50 have come obviously not all centers participate in all courses depends on the strength at the center itself there has to be a senior faculty member to conduct that program but the mandate is to increase this number to 200 centers covering entire country so those of you who know either your friends or other ex colleagues or whatever who have gone across to the country and they are elsewhere in other places and if you know about their institutions uh, please advise them to join this uh, uh, project as coordinating institutions we will be independently doing that as well but uh, going forward for 200 centers if we have to conduct a program at 200 centers we would not be able to conduct the coordinators program physically in iit bom now we have multiple models one model is we conduct the coordinators workshop on avu itself the second model is we conduct this workshop at two or three places and we may request one of you to come forward will of course uh, spend uh, i mean uh, uh, buffet the expenses but we could collect say 760 to 70 coordinators at one place and at other place and so on or we could do the same as a composite model we'll still conduct the workshop using a view and we may call a few coordinators from these two or three identified centers at our place for a few days and then conduct the workshop in those three centers these are the models going forward we we'll do that but it is very clear that the ministry believes that this model has proven successful and the scale up they want is that instead of catering to 1000 teachers at a time if we could cater to 10000 teachers at a time without diluting the intent and the cover we believe it is possible we'll have to try out something we'll be making proposals for the next 5 year plan shortly and we'll request your participation the other is that a proposal is has already been made uh, some of you may be aware that iit bombay has been asked uh, to take over the akash tablet project for the first phase the first phase consists of getting 100000 tablets and to deploy them in the field and get a feedback the next phase has 60 lakh tablets for which the tender preparation is already going on but which will benefit from the feedback that is gathered from the first phase and the subsequent third phase to be executed in the same five year plan will consist of at least 2 crore tablets and of course there will be additional things for the school education and so on now our limited mandate is to get these uh, tablets delivered as early as possible to distribute them across the country and conduct pilot studies and collect feedback i have proposed to mhrd that we would like to use all our remote centers as one of the test beds as i mentioned last time and we will probably distribute a fixed set of uh, tablets to all of you to begin with i want to do that for the course that will be conducted in june we expect to get adequate number of tablets for experimentation we will put on that tablet minimally the attendance software and the quiz conducting software so if professor puranik gives a quiz from here all individuals can answer that quiz online we'll put a wifi uh, 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 access uh, device in in the classroom 
will provide you with all the details. What is important is when you go back, please tell your center coordinators who usually take care of all the technology issues and so on. You are after all subject specific coordinators. Some of you may also be center coordinators, but please tell the center coordinators to expect a detailed mail from us once the project is approved and we will be starting this. Each one of your institutions, if the project is approved and the proposal is approved, would be getting about 100 tablets for experimentation and giving feedback for one of the courses that you will teach for those 100 students. And we would like to use open source contents and open source applications which are fruitful for that particular course. So it may be possible that you may decide to use this for the computational fluid dynamic course that you will teach in the subsequent semester if you have one or a similar course. It's entirely up to you, your center coordinator and your institute. Lastly, when those teachers come to you in June, please remember that your primary duty to them is to mentor them. You will agree that many of the younger teachers in many colleges that you see around you are many times fresh graduates themselves. They just join and they start teaching. They have very little experience. We can't blame them for that, but that is where expertise like yours is required. So getting lectures from the experts is very useful, of course, and that will happen in this program on all the mornings of the days of the workshop. But in the afternoon, they will be entirely be at your command. And we would expect that you conduct their tutorials, their assignment sessions, or whatever, in exactly the same spirit and same rigor that you would have seen here. And that will be important because then in turn those teachers will go back and hopefully teach qualitatively different courses. There is a lot that can be talked about. I will just say this. We know that we have about 320 million Indians who are younger than 19 years. The leading edge of this large window and the more competent edge and the more academically prepared edge in the form of students come to engineering colleges. Whether they are good, bad, whether they are academically well prepared, whether they can speak properly English or any other language are moot issues. But the fact is that they are probably the best. And if they are mentored better, the nation will deliver. And that job has to be done by these thousands of teachers, including you. So keep that end objective in mind and do whatever best you can. Towards this end, I will just mention that one question was asked that what is the point in solving, uh, you know, uh, already solved problems. What Professor Kannan is trying and what many of us here are trying is to kick start the process of creation of large amount of open source knowledge contents. Not just knowledge contents, but also in Indian languages. This process is not a commercial process. This process is primarily based on volunteer inputs. Now, if nothing exists, how do you kick start it? I would consider this to be a kick starting of the process. Please remember that in the developed world, people don't work for honorarium and, and such thing. They work truly as contributors. They work on Saturdays, Sundays, whatever. That is the spirit we would expect to happen. So I will conclude by giving you a last challenge. Why can't you enthuse some of your students, the top performers, saying no money, no nothing, but it is a challenge. Take the unsolved problems, take the more difficult ones. Use the Scilab solutions for the solved problems that you have and attempt to solve these problems, cross check them and contribute that entire thing back as the open source resource. Forget thousand teachers, just 50 teachers, 50 institutions. Every college has good students. Say five best performing students in your own disciplines. You have 250 students. You can go back and tell them this challenge now that in the summer, whosoever does the best job will acknowledge that contribution by a special certificate of merit, by some cash award, some such thing. But the job is take an existing textbook companion and solve unsolved problems from that book and add to the resource. That is how we can enhance it. 
you can think of umpteen number of such schemes. But the open source movement entirely depends upon larger and larger number of contributors who form themselves into collaborative groups and work consistently. We have such groups on Linux side, the LUGs, the Linux user groups that you see across the country work in extremely dedicated fashion. We want to extend that to the other useful material in the open. So that is the spirit with which we conduct this. Thank you very much for sparing your time and coming here. And thank you in advance very much again for being ready to spare your time during summer months. I, I know some of the places where summers are very hot. So the fluid might flow in the wrong direction during that time. And one, one might have to be careful. But uh, uh, go back and start thinking about that workshop. Please note that while we have some experience in conducting these and my colleagues have a whole lot of expertise, but there is no end to the possibilities that anyone even outside the system can think of making something better. All of you are directly in that field. Over the next month, I would expect you to apply your mind to make suggestions, even simple things, a better way of conducting a tutorial, additional problems that could help bridging the gap between what you know your teachers are, how good, and what is expected here. If you could contribute that way, we could make this entire workshop qualitatively much better for all that. Thank you so much, and thank you for coming. And as I promised, I had a one hour lecture prepared, uh, but I don't even see the... Already? Oh, I see. Okay. So, I will take my lecture as read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you.